Welcome to Jaren.net, and today we're going to show you how to unlock a Dell Streak to be used on any carrier using a Rebel SIM card. So as you can see at the moment, I have my uh, my Dell Streak here. I put in a T-Mobile UK SIM card, and it's showing networks locked. So what we're going to try to do is use a Rebel SIM card here, adapter, whatever you want to call it, uh, to make it work with my T-Mobile card. Let's go ahead and turn it off. So basically what you do with the Rebel card here is you place your SIM card inside of this Rebel card and I guess it kind of somehow fools your phone into thinking the correct SIM card in there. So take the cutter and the little SIM card adapter and your SIM card. Uh, basically you slide it in here like so. You just take it Make sure it's in there all the way, and you punch it, pull it out, and now you got the little hole. As you can tell, it's not much different than a uh, hole puncher hole. So really, you wouldn't really need this if you can just kind of figure out where to punch the hole there, as you can see. Now you don't have to worry about the SIM card getting ruined, because as you can see, it just punches through the plastic. Nothing of the uh, the chip here, or the electronics, or whatever, are damaged. So. You can punch it all you want, as long as you don't hit the chip here, you're fine. So I can continue using this normally in my iPhone without a problem. So then you take your Rebel SIM card adapter thing. It's as thin as a piece of paper. And that little chip here is going to go in the SIM card like that. Now getting the SIM card with the Rebel SIM uh, to actually fit in your device can be a bit painstaking depending on what kind of device you have. So now with a normal phone like this uh, Nokia 1208, it's rather simple because all you need to do is take your combined SIM card here. In fact, just take the Rebel SIM, place it in there, then your normal SIM, place it on top, and that's it. The Dell Streak, it's kind of hard to be able to pinch these two together while sliding it into the SIM slot because there's no space like between where the SIM goes and the casing here to fit your finger in there. So, what I did, or what I do, is I take the corner and basically try to slot, make sure the uh, Rebel 2 SIM plastic uh, thing first touches the contact there the metal contact and then slide it down in there at first like so and then I bring the top part of the sim and just rotate it in like so Now you can see it's coming out a little bit there. So I need to take the SIM card back out a little bit. You slide this back out so it goes in straight. So there I have it started. You see that? Then with your fingers, or maybe even another SIM card here, press up behind it so both the SIM card and the Rebel SIM get pushed in at the same time together. And of course I say that now and it's not working too good. Like I said, it's, it's a painstaking process, at least for this phone in particular. In fact, I think I may need to go and take it back out and try it again. Doesn't seem to be wanting to go in there at all. So you just keep trying it until they both go in at the same time. Again, for this particular phone, it's kind of a pain. Maybe someone out there will find a better way to do this for the Dell Streak. It's the only way I've been able to figure it out.
There we go. Let's get this work in there for me. There. And notice here that there's nothing of the Rebel card sticking out there. Uh, I've had it a few times where it sticks out just a little bit on either corner, meaning it's not, it's a little crooked. And I turn it back on, it does not register a SIM. So make sure it's flush with the SIM card. Turn it on. Another option for uh, those that don't want to mess with the uh, Rebel SIM card in the UK, you can actually use GIFGAF, which is a, a great prepay service. This is the best I found out here. Um, they run on the O2 network, and you can just pop SIM card in normally, and it'll work. I guess just because it's O2 network, it's O2 phone, it's locked to O2, therefore um, it works. So let's go ahead and see if we can see a T-Mobile carrier logo pop up here. Ah, there we go. T-Mobile UK. That's it.